Hey gamers, the Red Dragon here, and uh, this video is a much condensed version of a much lengthier article and video that I created. So if you want those, you want my full argument, all the facts laid out, all my uh, interview quotes, then go ahead and click the links in the description for that. But really, this is a call to arms. Uh, this is to say console players wake up and demand more because you haven't been complaining near enough. In the latest Game Informer uh, from last month, um, Patrick Bach, executive producer of Battlefield 3, said the following when asked about 64 player matches on PC and why PC got the lead. He says this, The PC audience has been the one complaining. We actually haven't heard any complaints from the console audience. So that right there should tell you to wake up. Uh, 64 players are coming to Battlefield 3 for the PC. Now, this is important. Why? Because Battlefield 3 is supposed to be the sequel to Battlefield 2. Remember, Battle Battlefield uh, has been around since 2002. They've, they've been having 64 player matches for a long time. It's what made the series. Uh, it was a huge portion of it. You can't tell me that uh, if Battlefield would have started off with 24 players, uh, back in 2002 that it wouldn't be the game that it is today. Uh, player count means a lot. That's why in almost every interview that you'll see for Battlefield 3 the developers are talking about 64 player matches coming back. You see, if you've been playing only console games, you've been getting a watered down version for all these years with ba Battlefield 2 Modern Combat and with the Bad Company series. The Bad Company series they even said was a spin-off. So that's why I got excited when they told me that Battlefield 3 was a sequel to Battlefield 2 because I go back and I look at what's important in Battlefield games. What was important in Battlefield 2? It was that immersion, that feeling that you were part of this huge battle that was taking place on this large map that was much bigger than anything you ever got on Bad Company. You would, uh, you would walk out on there, you would see plenty of, of vehicles on the ground and in the air, uh, multiple jets and stuff. Uh, and with the console versions, if you think about it, with 12 players, there's only so much you can have going on. Uh, you, you have 12 people, 12 people to drive all the vehicles, to drive that jet or jets if we're lucky, and to also be the foot soldiers. So 64 players, um, PC players are going to get the battlefield experience they deserve on PC. They're going to get the fancy graphics and the destruction. Uh, console users, I'm afraid we're just going to get Bad Company 3. We're going to get some improved graphics, some improved destruction, uh, you know, a, a new vehicle here or there. Uh, but really, if you keep the player count at 24, I think it's just Bad Company 3 and not a true Battlefield experience. Not the one that I grew up with, not the one that Battlefield veterans uh, are familiar with. If you told PC players that uh, Battlefield 3 was the sequel to uh, Battlefield 2 and you told them that the player count was staying the same as Bad Company, you would have a lot of people enraged. And that's why people should be enraged on the console versions, uh, but they don't know. They don't know any different. To me, it's like a, a North Korean um, saying that he had a really good day because the great leader didn't rape his children or take a dump on his head. It's because he's never known any different. He's never lived anywhere else or experienced something else. So the same thing goes with console players. If you've only played console Battlefield, then you're okay with 24 players and you probably like the game. And I'm not saying Battlefield 3 won't be a great game on console. It could go on to be one of the best games ever, uh, but it still won't change the fact that it won't be a true Battlefield experience unless it makes you feel like you're part of this large battle. And being part of a large battle means more than 12 people on your team. So a lot of people are saying consoles can't do more than 24 players. Well that's crap. Uh, there's plenty of games out there that have more than 24 players. So then the argument becomes well they don't look as good as Battlefield 3. You know they don't have the destruction. Just remember what the Battlefield series stood for. What it got started as. It didn't start out as a single player game. In fact it started out not even having a single player. It didn't start out with destruction or fancy graphics. You didn't hear people back uh, you know, when Battlefield 2 was such a huge, huge success, uh, why, why should I get Battlefield? Why should I go get Battlefield 2? People weren't telling you to go get it because it had the best graphics or it had fancy destruction. Uh, they were telling you to go get it because of the gameplay, the very essence of the game. So bring back that essence to the game. We're not asking for 64 players. I don't expect consoles because they are 
uh, outdated. I don't expect them to have the same graphics, the same rendering as PC version. In fact, I don't even expect 64 players on the console version, but you can do better than 24. I mean, you've invested all this time in this new engine and, and making it the best experience possible, um, but I really don't care what that, that wood plank, all the little details in it when I squat down and I look at it in game. I want the gameplay experience. Uh, and with Battlefield, I think you can do better than 24 players. Like I said, I don't expect 64, but why not 48? Why not 32? Um, anything's better than staying at the same player count than what you have with the Bad Company series. So, uh, like I said, I'll lay all this out and I go into further detail and, and, and back up my arguments a little bit better than I did here. But, um, you know, PC audience, they complained. They got what they wanted. So I think it's time for the console audience to stand up and to demand more, to demand better. Uh, don't be, you know, just overwhelmed with fancy graphics and destruction when you see single player two minute clips at, at GDC. You know, demand more. Um, uh, Patrick, he said at, at one of his videos, he said, uh, I hope that the Battlefield community trusts us because we know we can make good uh, multiplayer uh, games. We've done it in the past. But let me tell you something, Patrick. Trust is based on your record. And for the record, for the past six years, we haven't had a true Battlefield game. We were told that this game is supposed to be a true sequel to Battlefield 2, but how can it be a sequel if you're keeping the player count at 24 players limited? It's, it's capped. And so, therefore, the gameplay experience is capped. It's not going to be that same Battlefield experience. And if 64 players isn't important, then why are you going around making such a big deal about the PC getting 64 players? So we haven't seen a true Battlefield game in six years. Bad Company 1 released without Conquest mode. Bad Company 2, actually, in fact, all the uh, latest Battlefield games have released with terrible server issues. In fact, if you get on Bad Company 2, you'll still run into issues all the time with rubber banding and uh, lagging around, so your servers are crap. Uh, Bad Company 2, the end screen a lot of times is still off. You'll end up winning the game and uh, it'll say that you lost or vice versa. If that's not lazy, I don't know what is. Um, Battlefield uh, uh, 1943 released. It was one of the most downloaded games on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network and, work, and yet you uh, failed to um, support it with any type of DLC with any more maps. In fact, the last time I got on there, I couldn't find a server to play on. And the ticker was still uh, saying that get ready for a Bad Company 2 release. Now, one of the developers has, has recently come out, or, or one of the top guys, he may not be a developer, but he's on the DICE team and he came out and said, uh, you know, our competitors are lazy and we're coming for them. Well, let me tell you, sir, uh, the, the, your past Bad Company game, that was lazy. Not releasing DLC for all those months and letting it go down the drain when it could have been one of the best games on Xbox Live, that's lazy. So don't, um, console players, don't get overwhelmed with all the hype that's going on. Remember what the core value is of Battlefield, and it's this experience. It's an experience that you haven't seen in any other game, uh, and don't let PC players have all the fun. Demand more. Go out and tweet these players, tell or uh, uh, tweet these developers. Uh, this is your link to them. You can talk directly to them. Don't go just bitch and moan on some forum that nobody's going to read. Uh, go out there and talk directly to these guys. Tell them you expect more. Uh, these guys have been making games for 10 years. They can deliver more than 24 players on consoles.